and uh, nice upright chest as well, nice flat back, that sort of thing. And you're literally just holding the stretches for five to ten seconds. Again, nice flat back, held them arching over. Get into your calves. So again with this one, just get a slight bend in your knee. You can rotate your ankle left and right as well, just get different points of your calf. And he's back up for shim flat. Facing <laughs> up on a bit of an angle, other hand on top, and then just drop your shoulder towards the floor. So you're getting into your lats and up the back. Switch over. So walk out your calves. So all we're doing is building up uh, the dynamics from back to the ground. Little hold, switch over. So try and encourage getting a nice straight back leg as well. So start opening up your hips. or three each side and then start dropping your elbow in towards the floor and then open up watch your hand all the way to the top so adding in a reach to really open up your chest as well you're going to reach through the space between your knee and your hand little hold and open up watch your hand all the way to the top toes pointing out slightly you're just going to sit into a squat Hold onto the outside of your feet, get a little hold right at the bottom, you can shift your hips a little bit, open your hips up, and then shoot your hips up in the air, reach up at the top, so squat to stand, so a little hold, shift to the hips, up to the top. You're going to reach out in front, a little hold when you feel it in your hamstrings, and then bring yourself back up to the top, nice and controlled. So if you do six to eight reps on one side, the L. And if they can get up into their toes when they're swinging as well, get a bit of a squeeze through that standing leg through the glute.